Alrighty. Good day, everybody. This is Manny from Wellcode talking about Wellcode. So today we're going to talk about preheat and post well heat treatment requirements as per SME B31.3. So this is the Wellcode website, simple wellcode.com. Um, first of all, make sure you sign up as a member or as a subscribe it to as a paid member or trial for a free for a month and then all you need to do is log in I'm not a robot once you logged in go to resources page and click on SME 9 and B31.3 on this page you will have plenty of goodies today we're just gonna focus on to preheat and post well heat treatment requirements so click on that now pretty simple all you need to fill out is what's your P number if you don't know what's your P number for any particular material just go here you'll find any type of material that exists for example, I want to find A335, A335, and I want to find P91, there is, the P number for that material is P15A, how good is that? Alrighty, let's go to preheat and postal heat return requirements tab. Select P15 E joint, any type of joint. Control thickness, what is a control thickness? It is for socket and fillet welds, throat thickness of the weld. For partial penetration and repair welds, actual weld depth. And when dissimilar metals are welded, thicker of the two ends. For branch welds, there's a big chart on SME B31.3, you'll need to refer to that. For simple butt welds, let's assume that, uh, whatever the thickness of the material. So in our case, we'll assume 12 mil. We don't need to enter this because uh, this is not one of the P P15E item here. Same, we don't need to enter that. All we need to do now is calculate and voila. Minimum post well heat treatment temperature is 730, maximum 775. Minimum preheat temperature is 200. P post well heat treatment required? Yes, of course. Holding time, 30 minutes. Heating rate, minimum 355, 355 cooling rate as well. Alrighty. Now, let's go and select some other materials, say for example 5A, joint type is all as well, let's make it 22, and um, yes, we because it's a 5A, because it's a 5A material, and it's a, say for example, but well, we have to enter the thickness, uh, sorry, tensile strength for 50, for example. Carbon content is roughly around this range. Again, hit calculate, and you are given with the minimum postal heat treatment temperature and maximum 675, 760. Preheat is required 200. Post well heat treatment is required. Holding time is 52.8 minutes. Heating rate and cooling rate is given. There is a special note. For thickness less than or equal to 16 mil, post well heat treatment is not required. So provided mandatory preheat is applied and carbon content is less than 0.15%. Alrighty. How good was that? Stay tuned and we will come back with more.